Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to check the status of Oracle processes. So at here first I am going to write at here select statement. So at here select star from. So selecting at here first V at the dollar symbol and here we need to write process. Now here after the next thing is V dollar the next is session. Now here after the next is V dollar and here SQL as area. Now if you execute to this query so at here it's uh, displaying a d d r that is address p i d is s p i d p name and here this all those things and here there are so many columns are there now here after the next uh, thing is so let's uh, so at here I'm not going to include at here a star so at here first I'm going to create at here so there are so many nulls or rows are there so I don't want add here null rows so for this we need to do add here filter so add here first I'm going to create add here or uh, alias so add here v underscore process sorry a dollar process add here creating the alias p1 and for session creating the alias s1 and here creating the alias b1 now here after the next is so at here p1 p1 and here dot so going to use at here user name user name and here giving at here column alias pr underscore user now here after the next is s1 dot at here user name and here giving ss underscore user now here column comma and here s1 and here adding a status and in double quote writing the status now comma and here s1 dot and here going to use serial and here in double quote giving at your serial number now here after next is p1 and here dot spid spid so add here in double quote writing process id now after let's use sub str function and here v1 sub str function and here v1 dot here going to use sql underscore text and here this will start from 1 and it will go 899 and here this is alias at your text now add here so select here wrong and here after let's use where cross and here p1 dot a double dr so here you can find a double dr equal to s1 dot a double dr now here after let's use and operator 
now here after s1 dot username username so and here is not null and after let's use and operator now here after going to use s1 and here dot sql underscore address address equal to v1 dot a double d r e dot address and here let's use plus symbol now here after and operator once again and here after let's use s1 ls and here sql s1 dot sql underscore has has underscore value value equal to v1 dot has underscore value and here plus now after let's select this query and execute that so right here i'm getting somewhere error from keyword is not found so let's so uh, rectify this issue so add here So add here we need to give comma and uh, start once again. So add here S one eight double D R invalid identifier. So add here we need to include P A double D R that is a process. Address okay, after let's try once again. So, add here S1 serial identifier. Now, add here with serial, we need to include add here has. So, add here serial and here after include has. Now, let's Execute once again. So this time, add here I'm getting output. So add here first to this select add here username, PR user, and here S1 user, and here after status, and here serial number, and here after serial number, and here plus ID. And here after this the text and here from v dollar process and v under dollar session and v dollar sql area and here after this is add here where p1 dot address p1 dot area so p1 is the alias of v process and here s1 is the alias of session so add here when this two condition is match and here s1 dot username is not null and here so address of s1 sql address of s1 and v address must be equal then it's a displaying so add here p underscore user add here it's all our system because add here i'm logging with system and here ss underscore user so add here hr and here you can find d p has an mp and here after so this is the status so and here this is the active status and here so this is add here serial number 5 and here process id and here now here after hr so this is the inactive here serial number and here process id and here this is the query or uh, select or uh, yes from db table where row number equal to 1 now here after so add here so total numbers of uh, add here, so rows are displaying trap. 
So this is the way we can uh, check and here uh, status of Oracle process. So and here status is active here to active and here with the system and here system this is the serial number and here this is the process ID and here this is the query. So select uh, and here process ID text this all those things. So and here this is the active status. So if you write this query, you have, then you get the active status of process. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.